already know this is god gave me a dream about peach mcintyre also known as peaches she is well known on youtube she went viral mainly youtube after posting her breastfeeding video in public we breastfeed everywhere we go uncovered in public it is completely legal in all 50 states now she also well known for making other videos about shopping with food stamps and living in public housing and how to buy a home with section 8. welcome to my channel my name is savannah kirkland here is where i share everything about frugal living homestead and gardening i also have occasional dreams that god give me here's a list of videos that are already shared kurt franklin titled second dream of exposing kurt franklin's secret life black china titled is black china really a christian will she sacrifice her mother joel Osteen titled joe Osteen unexpected death i also share a dream of td jakes and kurt franklin how their lifestyle is in agreement. little wayne titled who killed little wayne this little Wayne dream was the most scariest dream I ever had because it was like I was actually there. If you're interested, I will be leaving the link below. I started to really enjoy watching Peach because she was just so motivational. She started doing classes, creating her own product, and encouraging her viewers to do the same. I just want you to keep going. I know you don't feel like it. I know it feels overwhelming. I know it feels like you can't win for losing. But I want you to keep going because tomorrow going to be a better day. As Peaches got more successful, she became less relatable to her viewers. She stopped doing the lifestyle videos that everyone loves so much. She started going live, giving great motivational speeches and then she would sell her products at the end. Her viewers start complaining that what she care about is selling her products and making money. So she started going off on her viewers and saying, that's right, all I care about is money. If you don't wanna watch my videos, go to another channel. Well, she let people know that she's in this just for money. And if she is, it's okay. YouTube is a business and you don't talk to your customers slash viewers that way she got big headed and people didn't appreciate it they stopped watching her so she started making up drama between her and her mother her and her husband her and her sisters and brothers and whoever else she can make a dollar from she talked about just for views due to all the drama i pulled back from watching peaches mcintyre her videos disturbed my spirit. I could not watch her disrespect her mom and her marriage in public. I just couldn't do it. So after a few months of not watching Peaches, I came across her channel. She said that she's broke, so she's now allowing people to advertise their YouTube channel on her community tab. So I said, hmm, Father, should I try that? Should I advertise my YouTube channel on Peach's community tab. He didn't answer. I went to sleep and he gave me a dream. With Peaches and I sitting at my dining room table, we was doing work. We both had computers in front of us and we were focusing on building my YouTube channel. I had hired her to come to my home to work with me concerning YouTube. So she traveled all the way from Florida to Atlanta, Georgia. After working for a while on my YouTube channel, the table moved. I looked up and I noticed that Peach's daughter was sitting across from us. And I was staring at her daughter like, why would she bring her daughter here? In the dream, I was so desperate for Peach's help. I didn't say anything. I continued to work on my YouTube strategy. And her daughter kicked the table. I was very upset because it was a glass table. And when I looked up at her daughter, 
coming out from her skin was little white worms and I'll show you in a picture right here so I noticed that it was on the chair as well and some has fell onto the floor so I said peaches your daughter have worms all over my table my chair and the floor peaches shouted so I don't care she's just a child leave her alone let her be so once again you guys I was desperate for peaches help on my youtube channel so i did something that i would not do in real life i let it ride then the doorbell rung and i answered it it was her husband wood and wood came in he said hello and then he said to peaches where can i cook for the children because they're hungry so he brought a truck full of the rest of their their children so I'm like, what in the world? So Peaches caught me into the kitchen alone. And she said, you know, I would drove for a while to get here. So the children are hungry. Can he cook for the children? So me being a mom, I said, okay, sure. He can cook for the children. So while Wood was in the kitchen cooking for the kids, me and Peaches was trying to work. And her children was running all around my home. All the kids had the white little worms and worms was all over my home i was disgusted i said peaches i paid you a lot of money for you to bring your family with you was very inappropriate i would like to have my money back we're not getting work done because your kids are screaming all around my home and she wasn't saying anything to her children while we was working she didn't say anything to her children period i was so aggravated and so disgusted i just wanted my money back she said, okay, I'll leave, but you will not get your money back. I said, okay, fine. I'm going to call your supervisor. In the dream, Peaches had a supervisor over her YouTube channel and over her life. In real life, we don't have supervisors over our channel and YouTube. YouTube is a 1099. It's a business. We are over ourselves. So Peaches shouted at me, here's my supervisor number Number down on the paper. And she threw the number at me. It dropped on the floor and I picked it up. Then her and her kids and her husband exit from my home. She left the worms behind and they were growing rapidly. I called the supervisor, a man answered, and he said they'd be right there. They would reimburse me the money if they find that is necessary a few minutes later after i hung up the doorbell rang and it was the man i spoke to on the phone and he said hello let me introduce you to peach's supervisor he turned around and it was a female with a very dominant spirit the man i spoke on the phone was her husband slash assistant she walked around my house just looking around like she owned it and she was like so peach mcintyre and her children left these worms here. I said, yes, ma'am. She left a complete mess. They cooked in my kitchen. And I paid a lot of money for her to come out, not to come out and bring her family. So she said, I don't believe you because I initiated Peach McIntyre myself into this kingdom. I usually sent out people to go do my initiations, but I am a deity. I initiated Peaches myself and Peaches will never do anything like this. And she was telling her, her um, husband slash assistant what to do, what to write down. He was taking notes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It was like she was the husband. So I'm like, this is where Peaches getting this spirit from. This is what I'm thinking. Why this lady talking to me? And the lady was actually scaring me. She was very demonic. I felt a very demonic presence. I said, yes, ma'am. Peaches did leave this mess. She's very unprofessional. She brought her family. I just want my money back. And I'm going to post this on YouTube. She said, you will do no such thing. And she pointed at a worm which was fully grown launched at me and bit me in my chest and i fell out the window when i woke up from this dream i was scared and i still felt 
the bite on my chest and I feel like the feeling of the bite on my chest was confirmation that this dream is true and I felt that irritating demonic feeling on my chest for most of the morning that day and I was like wow we have to be careful what we attach ourselves to people see successful people and they want to attach themselves to them because they have money but we need to attach ourselves to people that are successful and they can increase our spirit and that it can you know help our soul we got to do things to help our soul this world is temporary and we can die tomorrow so if you get initiated in Satan kingdom and I don't care what deity you under and who you worship it's all Satan's kingdom and you could die tomorrow and go to the pits of hell so don't glorify people that got money you know what I'm saying you don't know what they did a sacrifice to get that money and peace is how a lot of people looking up to her because she's successful but let me tell you something you guys in the dream yes wood did love peaches but peaches was miserable she wasn't happy it wasn't enough for wood to love her and she's not going to be happy because she don't have the most high yacht in her life peaches will never be happy i don't care what she display on these youtube streets she's not happy I don't care what flowers would don't buy or do buy for her. She's never going to be happy because she needs her creator. And she thinks she can go outside of her creator and get her happiness. But she will never get it. And if you think that you're going to attach yourself to Peach McIntyre and she's going to care. No, she's not going to care. She don't care about anything but herself, her husband, and her children. The Lord answered that for me. That was my first question. Do peaches care? She keeps saying she don't care. She Peaches do not care. Believe the words that's coming out of her mouth. She really don't care. Another question was, did she initiate herself into Satan's kingdom for wealth? And that was answered. Yes, she did. And the third question was, should I promote my channel on Peach McIntyre channel and the answer to me is no because I don't want to attach myself to a demonic kingdom a demonic entity I'm a child of the most high Yah. I serve him a lot of people don't want to say Jesus name but I say Jesus that's what I believe in I believe in the Trinity the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost like two, like three, like four, hit a